all right guys so as you know ruse just came out and we about to get into her kit and then we also going to get into like how she plays and all the little extra things because there is something that is like you gotta definitely know if you want a player to get her full passive going so let's get right into the first part which is looking at her kit all right so you can see this is ruse right here and i know one thing y'all definitely want to see i accidentally swiped to the left but which is that how she aims this is how she aims like yeah yeah this is how she do the bang 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 anyway other than that let's go to the skill and she has three skills some of these things are so long but it's because they got different effects like the first one which is card throw affects when attacking with four charts for eight times affects all allies max hp is up 2.95 percent of the catcher's max hp without restoring hp that lasts for five seconds and the cooldown of burst skill is down by 4.13 seconds so i'm guessing especially since because it looked like four charges for all of this basically you'll probably want to have like charge speed on her probably the charge speed cube if i'm guessing so that way she can do her charges way more faster i have something in my eye what the heck all right next one is coin flip which is activates when assigned to the back row and battle affects self and two allies on both sides i will tell y'all how that works by the way later on in the video and let's see basically when you have sword coin the attack damage goes up by 3.93 percent and then to activate shield coin you have to do four charge for 30 seconds and that takes the damage down by 8.98 percent and then the last one which is double sword coin your max hp goes up by 8.91 percent of the caster's max hp without restoring hp and also it affects all allies when in shield coin status activates when you use your burst five times and then we go to the game master because you know she's obviously gonna be the game master right she's the one that take your money when you go to the casino and try to gamble but anyway game master affects all allies attack is up by 7.12 percent of the characters attack for 10 seconds activates when sword coin status affects all allies so this one the sword coin status affects all allies they max hp go up and then when the shield coin status affects all allies their max hp go up by 11 percent this time and then this goes up by 17 percent when they have the double sword coin status that all lasts for 10 seconds and also that's her burst and also she's a tetra by the way she's from the squad 777 so obviously she works with blanc because blanc want to be in her squad only basically with her her squad members and let's get into how her second passive actually works all right so this is basically how it works these are the back units right here and the back units as you can see are number let me load two and four like as you see she's in the other back unit and this is four right here this is two right here so the way it works is let's say that this was the team you were going with which you would never go with this team in the first place but let's say this is the team you were going with right what happens is when she's in her, the slot that she's supposed to be in her passive activates where she will support she will support Ayn and I forgot her name, but her as well. Or if you want her to support these two, then you'll just put her right here in slot four. So that way she can support, I forgot, Zwei and whatever her name is as well. And that's how her second pass works. Let's get into the test. All right, so this is the team I'm going to use because I want to use Laplace. And I feel like this has to be a pretty decent team to try out in the first place. So mainly, she's not a damage dealer. She's really just here for to help out Blanc. So that way Blanc can do more heals. And she's supposed to be able to help Blanc out a lot. Basically, from what I'm hearing is she's supposed to replace Noir completely. We're going to test that and see how it is actually works. See if she actually is better than Noir. And we're gonna start that we're just gonna do a three minute one and yep and let's go let's see if she actually is pretty good or works or anything i think she actually is going to be a pretty decent unit like if you building up pity and you have enough gems like despair then i say like try for at least like two to three times but if you don't then don't do it okay just, just don't do it, it like because we, we can't fan coming out next like i can't wait for that character to come out i swear i, swear I can't and obviously this is her burst skill right here which is actually pretty fire and we got belong look at the wall just sitting in the background but then obviously modernity you're going to do modernity and things even though you don't post me using her up but whatever it doesn't matter to me just see even with like them all strapped at like the cap lock she's doing about like like Blanc is doing about 43 thousand i'm guessing yeah i'm thinking about like that's like 43k I kind of hate that the sniper like zooms in like that when you're using it like like CC. Yeah, Blanc is on 43k, she's on 36. And obviously, 
Okay, uh, well, I wanted to pause before they end up doing a auto game, but it's whatever, right? It's whatever. And let's see. Also, I wanted to see, and it should have like, yep, yeah, there you go. Coin flip, game master, the attack increase. And then you got coin flip, which the attack increase again. Game master also with the match XP. And then she got Showtime, Giant Leap, which I think is Showtime is hers, I believe. I'm not 100% positive. But as you can see, her healing, she healed for about 2.2 million, which is insane. She's healing 2.2 million. That's that's crazy right there. I've never seen the character heal that much, at least when I do my stuff, right? Because my characters ain't really that built. That's the reason why. But other than that, and let's see, they like she's healing for 36k, 36k, 36k. Now, and then they do it again. See, she had to get her alt off five times to get that other stack, right? And that was like, once the alt goes off, it's 50k, 50k, and 50k. Okay. Now, the thing that I want to see right here, as you see, we got 3.8 million heals. Now, what we're going to do is we're going, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. So that way, that's probably what you're thinking. So that way, I can remember how, how much she did because, look, I'm not good with numbers, okay? Now, I want to try this same exact team, everything the same. The only thing is, I'm going to switch out Rogue for Noir. I'm not really thinking too hard on the team. We just going to go in. I just want to see how much heals, the difference of the heals are. I just remembered. I really hope that she is freaking uh the first burst unit that pop off because I'm not under the positive. Way. Yeah, Blanc, you do that, girl. You do that. Go slick with slick. But anyway, oh yeah, she's not because the class is over there. So I'm gonna have to uh, turn this off so that way I can actually have them do it the right way. All right, and then we go boom, which is she doing her thing, which she also heals as well, by the way. And then we're gonna do the bunny swings, Blanc and Noir. Oh my god, bro, that's insane. That, that, that's how it looks. But as you can see, I mean, yeah, because when this when the burst goes off, Rose was having like Blanc's health for like 50k, but Noir is having her health for like 36, 36? Yeah, it was consistent 36, right? And also, so far, she's been, she's only healed for 220. That's crazy that Litter is healed more there. That's insane. But Litter is Litter, so we, we can't really say anything about that. But then let's just use like Laplace this one. I really need to build my Laplace up so that way I can actually use her. Let's see, 38, 38. Now, this is where I want to see if it actually changes anything right here. Because usually you'll you'll want to run Blanc with Noir because they are in the same team, right? But looks like Rouge may have taken her spot from what I'm seeing. Because yeah, she still only heals for 38k versus when you go the when you use rouge she goes for like 50k 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 and i know this ain't like all the way up in the time now but like what this is 1.2 and i'm looking at my other monitor because i haven't been on my other monitor when she did 1.3.8 actually oh my gosh she did 3.8 during that time which is let's see finding rabbit's lucky charm attack hit rate i mean i guess you are getting maybe more attack from noir i'm not entirely like what attack goes up maximum ammo capacity affects all enemies or allies with a shotgun see i thought you really want to run her in a shotgun team, right so looks like blanc looks like noir can go back to the scene she need i mean she don't really need blanc it's just that blanc needed noir noir didn't really need now noir can go do whatever she want to do and ro can go do whatever she want to do as well come on come on come on come on there's no way there's no way they they make me miss this right no way they make me miss this. three two one but so yeah, I think to be honest, at least for me, I if whenever I use the bunny team, yeah, New is getting switched out of here because it looks like Rogue is way more better, especially when it comes to heal. Because if you really like, you know, Blanc is mainly there that also heal as well, right? So if you really want to focus on the healing that you want to get, you most definitely probably will want to run Rogue here instead of Noir, so that way you can have more healing and that way Blanc can actually do what she's meant to do in the first place. But I mean, to be honest, it's basically just a major buff for freaking Blanc at that point. Cause look, it's been going on this long and literally Litter has healed more than her. That's, that's insane. That is crazy. And I, I really don't think that is because Litter is just out here, you know, just out here just healing for whatever reason, right? Like, it's not like she's over healing, right? I just think that, yeah, cause look, like, she, it's this consistent thing over and over again. 38 versus a 50, like 50K, that's insane. 
That's an insane difference when it comes to healing. That's like 20 extra thousand in HP getting healed. So. At the end of the day, what I would say is, I know I'll probably just like cut out right there, but whatever. I say when you run in a team, let's say we run, let's say we run this team or whatever, right? I, I really didn't care. Usually, okay, if I were to run a team that I wanted to run and I just wanted a healer on it, what I would do is, uh, and I wanted to also run Blanc as well. To be honest, what I would do, we put in Rogue here, we put in, I did not mean to put her right there. We put in Rogue right there. Um, ideally, I would have Laplace there, to be honest. Since Rogue skill is already a 20% anyway, the next one I would probably do, and then, also with she's a 20 skill anyway, I probably just want to go with a verse three and go with three burst threes and then just like rotate like this and have it run like this because i really love asuka she is literally the best in my opinion but whatever or we could have modernia be here and modernia will be the third one because you really don't really care to use her all so it will probably roll like this as well even though she will be healing up modernia but let's say that you want these two to get the you know ultimate power stuff then also you just run it like this just run it on you know dino auto you'll be good but other than that, uh, Rogue is actually a pretty good unit. I would say if you really want to, you can summon for her. It's, it's not like she's a must. She is going to be in the standard pools anyway. Now, the thing is, it's going to be harder to get her once she goes all right up. So that's a thing that you probably want to uh, think about. But other than, you know, think about that. I say she's a good unit. I can't wait for the new two characters to come out, AKA uh, the two that's probably going to be released like pro phantom i can't wait for phantom to come out so much like i i am i am copying this if even if i have to pity i will pity but i mean that's mainly because i have what like 490 golden tickets i have enough for adding okay i'll be safe i'll be good yeah 490 i have enough i'm good but anyway make sure you guys like comment subscribe if you're new don't forget to share the video i have not been saying that a lot lately but then make sure you guys share the video let's get to 1.14 Okay, in the matter of like, I don't know, five days. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Don't know what I'm doing with my hand. I hurt my hand. Check out any of these videos that's popping up like anywhere. I don't know where they pop up at. They just.